Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? This is your boy Jay from Keeping It Real, your arbiter of gaming news and commentary. Hit you off with that real deal with gaming. Just want to make sure everybody like, share, subscribe, and get content. So, what's going on, everybody? First of all, I want to thank everybody for checking out my video today. This is going to be part two of Xbox Vision. What is Microsoft's vision? What are they doing? Um, if you haven't checked out part one, please do, because part one is um, what I think is the first part of their vision. Um, and this is going to be part two of that. So I'm going to dig right into this. Um, what I'm what I'm placing as part two is what I can see is going to have to be Xbox being the most comprehensive um, gaming platform for gaming and entertainment. So let me explain this. Now, we all know uh, when Xbox One announced, I mean, their launch was, <laughs> putting it lightly, not as good as it really could, could have been. I think they were ahead of their time. They came out showing TV and showing uh, Skype and showing all these things that were really cool, but they were kind of light on the games, and that rubbed gamers the wrong way for obvious reasons. Um, so I understand that. For me personally, I personally seen the vision of what they were doing from the beginning, because it made perfect sense to me that if this was a next generation console, I would want it to do more than just play video games. Because let's keep it real. A lot of us, when we're not playing video games, we're watching TV. When we're not watching TV, we're on social media. And I felt even from the beginning, from the beginning of Xbox launch, that they were trying to make sure that that was the whole point. This is Xbox One. Everything in one. And I feel like that was Microsoft's vision from the start. That they wanted to be the only entertainment box in your living room. That was the whole point. And I understood that, so that's why it made sense to me. So, for you know, the only problem that they had is that when you want to do that, what you don't want to do is sacrifice what should be number one, and that's video games. And I feel their initial vision, Shit. though that's it was cold. one that wanted to embody everything, when they had a less powerful console than the PlayStation, that's what really hurt them. What really hurt them was that they could not provide the visual fidelity exactly the same as PlayStation or better. They they kind of lost their way when it comes to power. And I think that's what really hurt them in the end game because come on, you can't sacrifice entertainment and um, social media and for game. gaming has to become first. And I think since when it comes to the original OG Xbox, I don't think gaming was in a forefront, or a forefront where it really should have been. It should have been making sure that the, the specs were up to code for the most to provide 1080p uh, 60 frames a second. Because that was a promise for, you know, when everything first started. Now, to be fair, PlayStation never really provided that either. Um, let's just keep it real. PlayStation on all its games didn't never really provided 1080p 60 frames a second. Um, neither Microsoft or PlayStation um, lived up to that promise or lived up to what that goal was. That's gonna be cold. So now let's fast forward to now. Why do I say why this is so important now when it comes to, you know, providing the most comprehensive um, in gaming platform for both gaming and entertainment and social media? You think about what the Scorpio is going to represent. The, the Scorpio is going to represent the best platform for your gaming, media, and entertainment. Um, think about in game. Let's just start with gaming first. You're, it's they're finally going to live up to the true promise of native 4K 60 frames per second, and they even overdid it by making sure they had enough RAM space and making sure they had enough raw power to even get um, extra graphical fidelity. They weren't just going for resolution of 4K. 
that wasn't enough. No, they wanted they wanted a huge boost in graphic uh, fidelity, which is going to give you that those extra pixels, that uh, that extra particle effects, um, giving you more RAM is obviously giving you every all the power you're going to need to basically make your game look like a PC version of the game, and that and that is what is overdoing. They they wanted to make sure they can deliver so damn good they over deliver. And if you don't believe me, all you have to do is check out Digital Foundry. Um, I think this is all pretty well documented. So now we know we have that on the game. So that means this time around there is going to be no sacrifice on game. Game is going to be in the forefront. Then we got look at the things that we got like Game Pass and Mixer. We got the platform to have all of our entertainment. We will literally be able to create 4K content, fellas. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we will be able to create 4K content with with uh, with uh, things like Mixer. What Microsoft is putting on the table is 4K content for us to create with our games because we will be able to capture these games in 4K and be able to uh, stream them in 4K. So we will be a big source of 4K content on YouTube. For now in the foreseeable future and that is going to evolve over time we, next, by next year or the year after who knows what this will be something that will be creator content um uh driven and something that we are going to make our own as gamers so if you think about it we are adding our own dna into this um and microsoft is giving gamers putting the power in the gamers hands to create their own content and for in glorious 4K. So that that's being done with no sacrifice into our game. Um, then go into social media. I mean, what else can you ask for? I mean, everything when it comes to social media, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Skype, everything is right there at your finger chest or social media. This time around, Microsoft is doing it in a big way, making sure we're getting everything we can want. So if you think about it, your ex, your Scorpio sitting in your living room or in your room will do everything. You won't need it for anything. And we're talking about something that is is basically a device that does everything you need to do um, and them some. For me personally, man, I got an Xbox in every room and I honestly, my Xbox stays on all the time that I'm home. I, and I use it for everything. There's nothing. I don't have any other extra device other than my laptop. Um, and I even use that to interact with my Xbox. So um, it, it does everything I need it to do. And the Scorpio is just going to take that up a notch. Um, crank that up to 11. And that's what I'm excited about when it comes to what they're bringing to the table. I think this is their vision. Their vision to once and for all bring the all in one where we're going to have everything we need all in one box for one comprehensive price and that's what i'm excited about because i believe in that vision um even from the start when microsoft came out with the original xbox one i understood what they were doing i think they were ahead of their time and it wasn't well received but i think that only was because they forced people to buy the connect for one and that made the system $500 instead of its competitor, which was Sony PlayStation 4, which was $400, especially at a time where we just came out of recession here in America. And that was after 2008. And a lot of people just went for what was the cheapest. And I think that's what Sony capitalized on. They capitalized on the lowest common denominator, which is always going to come down to price at the end of the day. And... That's All that right, was one of the big factors that that you know really hurt them early on, along with the fact that they didn't give gamers choice um, by forcing them to buy the connect. So I, I think they're doing it right this time. They they're making sure they're not sacrificing game. Gaming's going to be at the forefront, and I think that's pretty apparent and obvious with the 4K 60 um, and extra uh, graphical fidelity with uh, eight gigabytes of developmental um, um, space for for developers to just go at it. Um, and if you also factor in the point that this is a console that's made for developers as well as gamers, they, they've set up the console to where 
everything is easy for any developer to do and within days so we're talking about ports being done in days as opposed to weeks or months um we're talking about plenty of time to add extra graphical fidelity um to point that thing up to possibly uh, ultra settings um the but and that's the point the, the point is having everything north. into one i think this is microsoft's vision and i think this is a big reason why people should just relax it's a chill pill with all of this worried about well where's the marketing deals and and this and that like instead of worrying about all that focus on what they're actually doing and what they're providing i think once all of that comes and everyone sees how that all fits together people are going to realize what's the true vision of microsoft so man this is uh this is part two and i'm going to be doing part three i want you to go ahead and check it out hit me in the comment box see what you guys think about part two and part one and man i'll see you later so man this is jay from keeping it real i'm gone